guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tracy and for today's video we are making some tags for some treat bags we are using the have a hoot bundle now this can be found in the mini catalog and I've got three bags that we are making or three tags for the bags that we're making so we have one for Valentine's Day one for Halloween and one for Christmas let's get started <laughs> the supplies I'm using for today's project can be seen on the screen head over to my blog for all the measurements and there's also a list of supplies there as well we're using the have a hoot bundle from the mini catalog really really enjoying this set it's so fun and I'm using a lot of scraps from my scrap bin so this is really great project to use if you have lots of scraps we're stamping the three main images here of those owls with the memento tuxedo black ink and I'm just using a scrap piece of Whisper White. We are going to be die cutting these, so um, use your scraps. It's a really great way to get rid of some of those things that are lying around. So stamping blends for this, we're using a few different colors, but I'll tell you each one as we stamp the image, or as we color the image. So the, for this first one, we have the light and dark uh, crumb cake for the owl. We have the light and dark pumpkin pie for the pumpkin and for his stalk on the pumpkin we're using the bronze stamping blend. Now you can purchase all the supplies that I'm using for today's project in my online store. Use the hostess code for this month and I'll not only send you a bundle tutorial, you'll also receive a handmade card and you can earn yourself some inky rewards as well. So it's a really great uh, way to support me and support me to make these videos and um, you get some really great benefits for it as well. So quite quick to colour in these uh, little images and I absolutely adore them. They are so cute. This second tag is the Christmas tag and we're colouring in the little owl with the combo of crumb cake and with the little present we're using the cherry cobbler uh, stamping blend. So really cute. We're not colouring in underneath on that branch because when we create our tag we'll be stamping on the tag and colouring in that base piece. So I've used the light uh, cherry cobbler for the present and the dark for the ribbon. So really quick and easy. Moving on to that third tag, we're using smoky slate combo and I'm using the dark smoky slate to colour in the male in the owls and the light smoky slate for the female. Going back over with the light uh, smoky slate for his eyelids. So I'm using the Dark Smoky Slate Stamping Blend to colour in the little feet, just to finish off. Aren't they so cute? So simple to create too. So I have my big shot here, if you've got another die cutting machine you can use that. I'm going to grab all my little dies out there. There's 10 dies in this set and this is where the scraps come in. So I have basic black for the cobweb, I've got all my little dies for the owls. Run that one through and because the two owls actually moved I'm just going to run that back through again. We have a piece of pumpkin pie and I'm using this middle label there. The small label in real red that's for the Valentine's tag and then I've got thick whisper white here and I need three or oh, sorry two of the largest um, ties there those tags. These are a decent size. And I did forget to cut out some old olive mistletoe leaves, so I need two of those. So I'll quickly do those as well. So we have all our little pieces ready to go. Let's start assembling these little tags. Lots of little pieces here from this die. Okay, moving to the pumpkin one first. I'm going to glue down my spider web. I'm just using liquid adhesive there and popping up that owl image. Now one thing I would have preferred to do was to stamp the back before doing this, but anyway, I'd done it already and then realized I had to stamp the back, so it works out. But with that extra dimension, it really makes it hard. So if you can remember to do that first, do that. So moving on to the Valentine's Day one, I'm popping up the two owls and I'm also popping up that real red uh, little tag there as well. There's no sentiment for Valentine's Day in this set, but I don't think this one needs anything. 
The last one that we have here is the Christmas one. So I'm going to stamp that image again. And I'm colouring in the branch that he's sitting in or on with bronze stamping blends and the balmy blue for all those little snowflakes in the background. It just creates a little bit of extra colour in the back. I'm going to learn from my mistakes and stamp the sentiment on the back with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And this is just Merry Christmas. Nice simple sentiment. And then I'm going to pop that little owl up with some dimensionals. To finish this one off, we're going to use the old olive mistletoe branches and I've got the liquid adhesive. I'm just going to glue those down. Now I'm using a few different ribbons for these tags. The first one I'm going to be looking at is all the trimmings ribbon combo pack. This is old olive and real red. So I'm going to start off with the Christmas one and I'm feeding it through the back. But once I put it together, um, I don't like the way it looks, so I'm going to feed it through the front. Obviously, the ribbons can go either way, but I think it looks nicer feeding it through the front. The little Valentine's Day one, we're using the real red, so the same one from this combo. And then for the Halloween one, I'm using the glittered organdy uh, ribbon. This one has been around for a little while, so hopefully you've got this in your cupboard already. So sparkly, and it screams Halloween. And we're just going to jazz up the Valentine's Day tag as well. And because there's gold in the red and white, all the trimmings ribbon combo pack, I'm using the Forever Greenery trim combo pack. That has a gold twine in it. So it's actually a little bit more of a thread. So let me bring that in. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just doing a little bow and I'm going to pop that on the top of the owls. Now, I always find uh, when you're creating bows, the best way to keep these down is the glue dot. So I'm just doubling that glue dot over and that will keep that down, no problem at all. And here we have our three tags. Super cute, super simple and super easy to create. Let me know which one is your favourite in the comments. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed these gorgeous little tags to make with treat bags. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you left me a comment. Don't forget to hit subscribe and that little bell to be notified of my next video. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye. <laughs>